Imagine you have a mask connected to a base via a spring and damper. Let's say that the base is constrained to move vertically according to the equation y equals capital Y sine omega t, where capital Y is called the amplitude of base motion in meters, and omega is called the base excitation frequency in radians per second. The equation of motion for the mass, x, is found using Newton's laws, and that is mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to ky sine omega t plus c omega y cos omega t. The solution to this will have two parts, the transient response and the steady state response. The capital X is called the steady state amplitude in meters, and phi is called the steady state phase in radians. Capital X is given by this expression, whereas phi is given by this expression. Let's understand how the steady state amplitude varies with respect to the frequency ratio. Let's plot capital X divided by capital Y, something called the displacement transmissibility on the y-axis, and omega on omega n on the x-axis. The graph looks like this when zeta equals 0.1, 0, 0, 0 0.2, and 1. Phi plotted against omega on omega n will look like this when zeta equals 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 1.